Hey, True Believers England team here with another Christmas comic review. This is going to be a read through. Why not? I got it on Comixology. Uh, it's Hitman number 22. Yeah, I dig on the cover. <laughs> it looks awesome. I've never read this before, so I'm going to be reading it and reacting to it uh, live as we go through it myself. Now, let's get this party started. Once again, Hitman number 22, written by Garth Dennis, drawn by John McRae, inks by Steve Pugh, and letters by Willie Schubert, and co colors by Carla Fini. Okay, with all that said, let's see what this is all about. All the people of Gotham liked Christmas a lot, but Bob's nerd at <laughs> the nuclear power plant did not. And he's sitting there, bastards. And Bob's hate would cause many a mother to grieve, for it triggered a bloody bad Christmas Eve. Bob Smurd would give Gotham a night to remember, a radioactive to four of December. Okay. I wonder if it's going to be rhyming all through. Right. Yes. See, Bob hated Christmas because it was nice. Because it had tinsel and holly and spice. Let me bring this in. Because it was groovy, because it went bong, because it had turkey and burst into song. Okay. Uh, I, I don't know. Maybe some people have bongs when they're, uh, when they're at Christmas time. I don't know of a Christmas that goes bong. Uh, but there was old Bob with a soul like a turd, eyes like yellow. Oh, okay. With a soul like a turd, eyes like yellow snow, and a heart of brown curd. Bob had no girlfriend. No folks and no buds, just a head full of gloom and boiled mucus for blood. I do all the work around here, get no appreciation. We see his co-workers laughing at him as he sweeps up. I don't know too many people are like that. Uh, you know, even when I was manager in movie theater, we appreciated the cleanup crews. That's something we didn't have to do. Come and get it, fella. Christmas bonus, somebody says, knocking the door into uh, Bud's face. Christ! Oh, okay, so he he, uh, he knocks him over. It actually says right here, do not fall in for fear of death. I don't think he's going to listen. And yep, and he goes, I, I didn't even see him. I told you to close that freaking hatch, Pork Pokransky. Ah, geez, I knew I forgot something. You'd think this would be quite a terminal factor, falling inside an atomic reactor. A lingering death of horror and pain of cancerous growths and liquidified brains. For most folks, this would be the end of their sinning. For Bob, I'm afraid, it was but the beginning. And we see him jump up. Whack! Oh, I'm going to set off the bird if I make that noise. We don't want that. Whack! Ha! I guess that's what you yell at. Ooh, okay. He's got something jutting out of his side right there. That is kookiness. Ah, jeez. It's like uh, Fargo. Ah, jeez. Take now, 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 take it easy, Bob. Take it easy. Come on, guys. Don't you see what this means? I can do stuff. I'm going to be popular. With powers like these, I could become a superhero. And we see him melt his friend. Um, I don't know, Bob. Those, those look more like supervillain type powers to me. Yes. Yes. Come here, Santa. And we see Santa getting frayed for his life. And that's how a new superhuman was born from a nuclear womb so brutally torn. And a gift for the people of Gotham he bore concealed in garments he shamelessly wore. Soon others thought Bob will think Christmas is bad when I liven up Yuletide with 5,000 rats. <laughs> God damn it, there he goes. I tell you, if this gets out, we're all screwed. They'll close us down on the spot. But, but it was an accident. Look, idiot. The last accident we had developed mucus powers and went off to form his own super team, remember? The feds don't like our accidents. They give people the appalling impression that atomic energy might not be completely safe. So what do we do? The only thing we can do. We hire a professional. Down in the town, the whole place it was swinging, they knew nothing of Bob. They were too busy singing. Children were handing out seasonal wreaths. And Batman was kicking out seasonal teeth. But on Peckinpah Street, right where it meets Saint, a familiar voice raised a familiar complaint. Jesus, I'm completely freaking broke. Makes two of us, man. But but where does it all go? I bet your bookie'd be the only only too happy to tell you. These are on me. 
and we see a big old crowd of people at the bar. Oh, one's wearing an AT&T. That's always nice. We should have took the werewolf job. Come on, I ain't about to shoot a guy just because he sprouts hair and craps on the sidewalk once a month. It ain't like the poor bastard ate anybody. I know, I know, but now we're stuck with no money to buy presents for folks, ain't we? What kind of high price to pay for a clean conscience, if you asking me? Ah, hell, and I wanted to get Teagle that brooch I saw in Saks. <laughs> yeah, of course. You seeing that cop now? Ex-cop. She still got her uniform? Uh, I don't know. She let you wear it? Eat me. Oh, man, doing the nasty with 5 -0. So I guess you boys will be free for that thing tonight after all. Sean, we didn't know we wouldn't be working. A promise is a promise. And we see a nun, uh, an orphan. It says St. Killian's Orphanage uh, fundraiser crowd. I guess they're watching these kids sing. And his master steps he trod where the snow lay dinted. Heat was in the very sod which the saint had printed. Therefore, Christian men, be sure wealth or rank possessing. Ye who now will bless the poor, yourself find a blessing. Or you and your homies will be lying in the chalk. Knock it off. Oh, he he says as he hears his beeper go off. Probably a beeper at this point in time. This was a 90s book, right? Uh, we gotta go. I just got the damn thing. How do you, you really down with modern technology, ain't you? Press there. Yeah, hold on. Some radioactive jerks loose in a Santa suit, 10 grand. All right. Creeps as good as dead. Oh, yeah. Guaranteed fatality or your money back. Yeah, cool. See ya. Silent night, holy... I don't know what song they're singing right here. We're on. Pop the guy, swing by the plant, and pick up the cash. Be back in town before the stores close. Looks like Christmas is coming after all. Word, said his homie. I got my nine. Let's go bust a cap in that nuclear swine. So they took their nine millies. And a big 44 and a hand grenade Tommy was keeping in store and enough ammunition to fight a small war. And went off to inform vile Bob Smurd of the score. Hey Santa Claus, how about a dollar for a hungry guy who promised not to spend it on crack? No, my friend. I've got something better. <laughs> I did the laugh. It actually just has the guy screaming. And then we see Mall of Mammon. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that means something. It sounds like it means it. Mm, this means something. Little hardware wars. All right. This is the place where my work will begin, said Bob, with a smile that was filled up with sin. Hundreds of citizens go to the mall, and I shall go on and irradiate them all. I'll irradiate lassies, irradiate lads, I'll irradiate moms, I'll irradiate dads, I'll irradiate children and people who smell. I'll irradiate deaf, dumb, and blind folks as well. And I'll show everybody that Christmas is hell. So he lurched towards the mall to begin his foul gag. And it wasn't too long before someone went, Yag! Santa at three o'clock would be our dude. Holy God! We see a Santa scream. What the hell is this? You just chill, Santa. Won't be a second. Mm. Uh, zip. Ah, well. So, uh, what is it with this, uh, with Sean in this orphanage, huh? Used to go out with the chief nun. <laughs> you kidding? Nope. I mean, she wasn't Sister Concepta then, but, uh, she was Connie Oriadon from Court Street. The way Sean tells it, the day she took her vows, half the guys in the cauldron were crying in their beers. So anytime she needs some local support, pillar of the community, Sean Noonan is only too happy to help. To tell you the truth, I don't know if Sister C ain't given in to temptation a couple of times. I've seen the way they look at each other. How about that? Hey, <laughs> what you got there anyhow? Geiger counter. Bought it off Timmy the fish last year, but I don't know if it's even working. Supposed to go click, ain't it? And then we see it going. And then we see a uh, skeletal body fall in their car. They both scream, oh, and say, think we found them? You think? People are running in a panic. We see uh, up oh, menswear, children's wear, electronics. We see women and men running. A car crashes through. Get out, run, some kind of freaking monster. Watch it. We we hear as a uh, cart gets, is that a real child or a toy that looks like it's about to get hit by a car? Very John Landis. Oh, Blues Brothers. Okay. See you next Wednesday. That is true. John Linda, Landis always uh, puts see you next Wednesday, Wednesday into his uh, movies somewhere. 
and we see the the radiated Santa Claus laughing out loud. <laughs> there, you think? That's what you got to add that line to. Oh, there he is. Yeah, you think that's our guy, the guy holding the corpse and burning stuff up? All right, let's get back to the story. Bob had been busy since reaching the mall, determined that Christmas would not come at all. For a dozen poor people, it now never would, li lying, rotting, and steaming, and not looking good. To tell the truth, Bob had gone utterly mad, bonkers and mental and wacko, that lad. So when he looked down and saw justice arriving, Bob didn't hesitate. Bob began diving. He's not going to, is he? He is! And he crashes right through the windshield. I don't freaking believe this! Hello, boys, Bob says as he reaches towards the hitman and his partner. Who's first? Nat, hang on. And we see, uh, is he stepping on the gas there? Okay. And, uh, okay, I guess he was stepping on the brakes. We see Santa Claus fly. I like that brick of bricks and oddities. And Bob hits the freaking wall. And by the way, it looks like it says Santa's Grotto up here. So I wonder if that's a little in joke. Whoops, I uh, went too far there. And we see Bob stand up. Oh, Jesus. He starts screaming. And we see his uh, mouth is filled with him. Uh, well, not filled with teeth anymore. And uh, the car hits him again. All righty. And flies out the window. Which, of course, is going to do all sorts of damage to it. I, I think it's kind of funny whenever you see the scene in movies, too, as they fly out a window. But no damage gets done to them. I went over a six-foot drop at about 40 miles an hour, and we thought it would be fun. I was dumb. I ended up cracking the engine block of a really nice 78 T-Bird and almost bit my tongue off. I swear to God. Not Well, no, it wasn't that bad, but I did bite a chunk out of the side, and um, it was, uh, no, because you land, and it's like, even if your mouth is open, that bottom jaw, everything just kind of <clears throat> compresses a little bit. So I do not recommend, it looks cool on TV, I do not recommend uh, jumping a car. That, I, I swear to God, I've done that before. You do not want to do that. All righty. Uh, we see Bob yell and scream as he's rammed into a wall. Hitman jumps out. Oh, boy. And, oh, I like the way the black guy here has the, um, has the gun twisted sideways. You know, because gangster, it's a kill shot! Who ordered pizza? Okay, that was a good one. That's a good one. Who ordered pizza? All right, yeah, I like that one. Okay, let's see. Better get it done before the cops show up. And we hear Bob yelling, no. Look, look I, I, Jesus, you can't just shoot me like a dog in the freaking alleyway. I messed up. I didn't mean it. Listen, really, I changed my mind. I, I swear it. I love Christmas. What a bunch of crap. You just slaughtered two dozen people. You're a lousy, whining degenerate, and we're going to blow your mother-loving head off. <laughs> Merry Christmas, fool. Look, look, in your hearts, boys, find a little spirit of Christmas. Think of that little child lying in the manger so long ago and the message of hope he brung. Please, boys, I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Show mercy. But Tommy and Nat had no mercy for Bob, not with him being a 10,000 job and about to be shot full of hollow point holes. He at least learned the cost of venomous soul. Yet a Blade Runner fan was this miserable heel and Rutgers' great speech from the end he did steal. I've seen things you people wouldn't believe. Enough already. Uh-huh, and we see the two guys shoot at him. And a bird fly away. And we're a lucky couple dudes sometimes, ain't we? Sure, 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 he says as he's opening a present. Is he opening or wrapping it? There. Yeah, I mean, getting a hit on Christmas Eve, that's got to be some kind of miracle. Like Santa decided we were extra good this year or something. Oh yeah, start off with that green freaking lantern, then Jacques Cousteau meets Night of the Living Dead, then Demons from Hell, and a cat babe, and we finish up whacking Chris Kimmo the night before Christmas. 1997 was the year God discovered crack. Wait until he hears a 2020. Yeah, and we see them uh, toast each other. Anywhere, here's to a quieter 98. Yeah, I heard that. Some hopes, right? Not in this neighborhood. I got to get going. Right. Well, I got you this. Oh, by the way, in my opinion, like any one of the panels we just saw could have ended this book fine. So at this point, it seems like they're just dragging it. Going to take a guess and say it's a six pack of beer. This is for you and Teagle. Ah, oh, you didn't have to do that. Forget it. Merry Christmas, Tommy. Merry Christmas, Nat. But he get you. Let's just see. Oh, Junior Cop. It's a little toy. Yeah. Why I oughta... 
But where is the moral in this, you may cry? Why, sitting in front of your face, I reply. We don't need some moaner who grenches and whines that Christmas is merely a big waste of time. For Christmas is whizzo! Christmas goes ping! Christmas makes people feed squirrels and sing! And no matter your race or your class or your creed, isn't that something we all really need? Well, you know, creed actually means religion, so as much as I love Christmas, and I know even some uh, people, I know Buddhists, of course, Buddha allows you to, to uh, celebrate Christmas, but I know some people of different religions uh, celebrate the secular versions of Christmas, but I don't think all creeds are going to be like, hey, I want to do that Christ Christian thing. Isn't that something we really need? One day in the year painted up in bright colors, one day when we're groovy and cool to each other. And sure, you could grumble, but any who would are missing out something incredibly good. Anyone bitching and moaning instead might get two in the back of their miserable head. There you go, gang. I thought it was fun. It's silliness, but it was entertaining. I kind of liked it. I liked the rhyme. I, I would have liked to have, I know it would sound like the demon at you again, but come on, it's a Christmas comic, and you know what he was going for. But I actually kind of hoped or wished that he had uh, made the dialogue actually uh, rhyme. I think that would have been a lot more fun. That cover wasn't popping up, so I figured I would just pop this one up. Um, yeah, anyway, I, I found it very entertaining. It really was. It was very entertaining. So uh, I kind of dig on that. All righty. So um, what I'm, I'm trying to figure out what would be a good way. So all I, all I need from you is to make sure that you're a subscriber and you comment below. And I'm thinking, what is your most favorite off-kilter Christmas story? Be it a, a, a book, be it a comic book, be it a movie. It, no, no traditional family style, but something where it kind of out, it is on the outskirt. Let me know in the comments below. And I've got this little app that picks random uh, comments. And uh, you, can win, you can win Hintman here. Now, I do have to limit it to my... Uh, just because of shipping costs. Sorry, guys. I do have to limit it to uh, my my American, continental American viewers there. So I do apologize for that. But let's see if this helps. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a great time. I actually enjoyed doing it like that. I, uh, If I could get them on Comixology, I think uh, that'll be a lot of fun. If this works, then maybe I'll move that into my normal, uh, the normal reviews as well. So um, I'll be giving away normal comic as well if this turns out to be successful. So uh, I'd like to thank everybody for, for joining in. Don't forget to click like, share, subscribe, ring the notification bell if you haven't done it already, making sure that you may have notifications set on all because trust me, um, subscription, as, much, as important as it is, um, the notifications are more important. Also comment, 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 because that helps the algorithm. And uh, as always, if you don't mind helping out the channel, go on over to Patreon or to Ko-Fi. Drop a dollar in the till. Helps keep the lights on. Helps keep making videos for you. Like, thank everybody who's already done that. And to everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching. Now, here are the credits with some Christmas music. <laughs>